Hello everyone and welcome to the Best Pool Guide 2020. This is one of the most prestigious events of the year. We are here in the Lazat Lounge represented by Brunswick Billiards and what a match we have for you today. We have two of the best players of all time and joining me in the booth is none other than Jack Slayer. We have Jack Slayer here. My name is Josh Pocket and we're excited to bring you some action. Here is our first competitor, Paul Uliberry. He's been racking up wins through the whole season. A little hiccup there in Las Vegas, but pretty good career so far. Yeah, you can see the total earnings there, almost $30,000 in 2020. Definitely one of the high earners. <laughs> <laughs> then we have Simon Lazat. <laughs> with a very consistent start to the year. You can see a bunch of top fives early on and then two 17 places, but you can see we are playing nine ball. The guys are ready. We're lagging out for the first break and we are all glued to our chairs watching this special match. It's a classic already. Great pace on both of these. Wow. All right, we're playing best of five. All right, after Lazat won the leg, he uh, had an absolutely amazing shot and right off the bat with a break and man, it's an unlucky first break, scratches. And yeah. I think Paul Uliberry is uh, pretty much ready to go. Yeah, you see a kind of a nice little gr grin between the two competitors. Showing some good camaraderie to start this match, even though there's a lot on the line. It's good to see that Yes, yeah, so we are playing nine ball here. These guys have had a long season behind them. Those guys are doing everything they possibly can to uh, get this last title of 2020 and Paul's looking like he's getting off to a hot start here. Good cue ball control. Looks like he's going to want to put a little top left English. Nice bounce off the cushion. And the the cue ball control is looking good early. Yeah. It was a good break by Lazat. Good spread of the balls. And all Paul really needs to do is keep his cool because I'm sure nerves are playing a big role right now. Not the best shot there. He wanted to play more of a stab draw back. And it looks like he kind of pushed it a bit. But these are two of the best shot makers we have in the game. Yeah, nice overhead view here as well. Giving you guys all the angles. And this looks like a routine run out right here. Can't, did he get enough? Roll. It's got to roll. Nine ball. Hmm. Now he faces the toughest part of the run out. He's going to need to put a lot of back left English here. And the key here is to keep a clean stroke. Pace is the key. Wow, Lazat appreciated that effort. And uh, here we go for the first game in this race to three. I was literally shaking that whole game. You could tell Paul was a little bit nervous there. He comes out of the shot a bit early. We wouldn't recommend that, but able to put the first game away. Yeah, nice run there. All the way from the one to the nine made it look pretty easy. And uh, who knows how long Lozada's just gonna sit there and watch. The brutal game of nine ball. Another dry break here. And now it's Lozada's turn. Can he make it happen? This is a long nine foot table, super thin cut, very well played. Does he have position on the two? Looks like he's gonna have to play a one rail bank into the side pocket here. Nine ball is also a game of defense, so I can see something going of a defense here and it looks like that's what he did and wow, what a shot. 
putting the other guy in trouble. That's a big part of pool, and Paul Uliberry seems like he's in trouble here. What's he going to try and do? Looks like a one-rail bank. Put a little right English on there. Oh my god, what a shot! Oh, we have an instant replay here in slow motion. And that could not have gone... Was that planned? That is the big question. No one will ever know. I think it was an obvious shot from Paul Uliberry with his great leap as well. <laughs> yeah, perfect position on the three. Now he goes easy from the four to the five. It's all about pace here. So far, Paul looks like he has control over the speed of the cue ball, which is the most important part of all billiards. Yeah, he ended up a bit short there and has to cut that in thin, but even that shot, no problem. And if Paul just runs this out, he's only one away from the win of the title. What happened there? It looked like a, a kind of a long stretch and it just looked like he kind of stabbed it and got a little jump off of the six. It looked like he completely lost focus there for a second, took it for granted, one thing you can never do. And now it's Lazat, he, he has to take this chance. What an, another mistake. Lazat has not hit a single great shot yet. And what is this? This is, what do you do here? Yeah, it looks like the smart play would be a one rail, cut the seventh in, maybe make the nine in the corner, maybe make the seven. Hmm. Is, did he just point in the middle pocket? What is he looking at here? He needs, gets out the extension, makes every shot much trickier. Playing a safety? No, he's playing the nine into the side pocket. Oh, no way. What an unbelievable shot. Standing ovation by Uliberry. And here you can see, you don't have to call the shots a nine ball, but Simon Lazat called the shot anyway and pulled it off. What a magical moment in this game, and it is a tie game at 1-1. Paul gets the one to fall off the break, and now he does have a chance to push if he does choose, but it looks like he might be going... What is he going for here? Looks like he might be going for the two into the nine. This is an absolutely crazy shot. This is a very aggressive play. You can't fault him. He, he has all the stats to back it up. Oh he has all the confidence needed. Go, please. And wow. Lazat already out of his chair, excited to get to the table. And then we have another big part of pool is sometimes a nine ball. Flux on your side, it'll be hard to beat you. And that was nice of Paul to apologize for the mistake. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Again, showing the sportsmanship that everybody needs in big game situations. Yeah, and that, that shot on the three there is also not to be underrated. That was a nice, nice gap through the four and six. Made that one look easy. Now he's a long shot on the four. That pocket. It looks like today the left pocket, or pardon me, the right corner pocket has been Paul's problem spot. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Paul got a bit lucky here again with the four being right on the rail. Pretty thin cut, and again, Lazat can't reach all the way over to this white. So he needs the extension once again, but he already showed that he's a master with it. And no problem there, showing perfect cue ball control, lining the five right into the corner, and then it's just a five, six, seven, eight, nine, and this game is over. Yeah, it looks pretty simple from here, but you can never take shots for granted. Every shot here is well thought through, and it's all about executing and commitment. Beautiful pace. The control these two have is just mind-blowing. 
surprising that some of his stats are as actually as low as they are. He's been coming hard, but I think because of the corona pandemic, he wasn't able to travel as much, and maybe that's why the wins didn't stack up this year. Yeah. Great display of Q power right there. Big draw. Perfect position on an eight. And Simon, every time he pulls out what a lot of people like to call the granny stick. <laughs> yep, the extension, baby. Or the bridge. And this is a routine nine. But no. Oh, no. The nerves are getting the best Stop. of Lazat. You can see his world is falling apart, and Paul just laughing at him. Wow. The nerves. The nerves got you on. Nice. Oh, man. Left Paul this easy look along the rail. And wow. Just like that, you lose a game that you should have won. It's 2-1 for Paul Uliberry. And he's got the break once again. And he made one off the bat, but... He might be hooked on that one. Couple options here. What what would a pro do in this spot? Well, I think probably a push. Yeah. But everybody knowing. Paul Uliberry is being as aggressive as he is. Of course he goes for the glory and that could cost him. Yeah, he was going all out there and wow, that's a mistake you don't want to make against Lazat because of his cue ball control and just... <laughs> <laughs> we are still in the game. Lazat is not giving up. Yuli only needs one more rack, one more game to seal the deal and Lazat can't afford to make any mistakes. Has to go. Do you like Lazat's pace that he's playing from shot to shot, or do you think he's a bit nervous? I don't know. It's hard to tell sometimes between nervous or just so confident. Um, <laughs> <laughs> he steps up to every shot knowing exactly where to, <laughs> to aim, <laughs> where to hit it. And then the cue ball just looks like it's on a rope. You couldn't place it better with your hand. <laughs> can he, <laughs> can he push it all the way to a two all and a final decider? He missed an easy nine in the previous game. Can he now do it? He can. Wow, he made that look so easy. You can see Paul appreciates it. Lazat is excited. And now this brings us to the decider. Whoever pots the nine here is going to walk away as the champion. And almost right off the bat, he makes the nine into the side but barely off yeah if you make the nine off the break that's instant win that would have been absolutely amazing but look where he left Lazat no shot he's actually hooked behind the seven and the luck was on Yuli's side again but for now he has to take a seat and watch what Lazat can do from this spot looks like a lot of right hand English to drop and he misses the one could this be the end of Lazat could that be the end? Ball in hand. Paul Uliberry. Is known for these moments. He didn't even take the ball in hand. Just showing. Is that cockiness or is it just dominance? This could send a message to the rest of the world if he can somehow manage. Oh, he lost the cue ball a bit there. Bad. Now he's going to go have to go with the high bridge, which is where you have to make your hand a bit taller to get over the six into the three. shot. 
Wow. Under these circumstances, that is a mind-blowing shot. Great control. Still has a shot on the floor as well. It's all he could do. And is he gonna go, was that a safety shot? The first time he's playing safe? I think he was trying to cut it and he just, he almost missed the whole ball. He's another lucky shot there from Paul Uliberry. Again, a lead for Lazat. He's taking a real close look at this one. Can he cut this in? It's real close to the object ball. And oh, just barely missed it. This might cost him the game. Wow, you can see a quarter of a quarter of an inch more to the center of the pocket and that's dropping all day. And maybe this match is over. Yeah. But let's, let's see if Paul can dig deep, which he's been known to do throughout his career. First in. Got a connection there on the five. I'm not sure if he was trying to do that. And now these are tricky shots here. And wow. Straight for the bank shot. No problem. Made that look really simple. Leaving a perfect position for the six. Well, let's see if he can just drift that in. And not the best leave. Oh, under this pressure, going for this title, three balls remaining. Can he clear this up? He's been in this situation so many times. And... Wow, what if what now? What now? Does he go eight to nine to try to seal the deal? Didn't even think about it too long. And that deserves applause from everyone in the building. Wow. What a shot. The poise, the courage to go for a shot like that, then to leave it and look at the celebration. You can see the excitement on his face. And he wins the best pool guy of 2020. Let's hear what he has to say. What an amazing feat. I couldn't do it. Well, I want to thank my big brother for never taking it easy on me and uh, making me into the pool player that I am. That was some sick pool. We really played well. I'm glad uh, I'm glad we actually got some good run outs for you guys at home to see that uh you know we're de we're decent pool players. We are. Yeah, yeah. But guys, hope you enjoyed different sport, you know. It's vlogmas, anything's possible. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Make sure to go follow uh, Paul on his YouTube channel. He's almost at 25,000 subscribers and he's doing Let's some go. great work over there. And yeah, until tomorrow, like and subscribe. And peace. Later. <laughs>